Welcome back to the breakfast. Uh, just before we, of course, hit the last, this probably is the last lap of the you know conversations this morning. We're bringing up something that has come up in the midst of the talk about the kidnap of uh, uh, 300 boys in in uh, uh, Katsina State. Um, in the midst of, of course, the conversation of the president being in Daura, you know, um, um, relax. And we, we, of course, we're hit with news yesterday that the Nigerian government has given telcos and um, given an order, rather, uh, that tele telecommunication operators in the country um, have just two weeks to block all SIM cards that are not registered with the national identification uh, numbers in the country. And so in the last 24 hours, there's been a lot of chaos about how possible it is for 164 plus um, a million Nigerians uh, to get registered and, of course, uh, avoid their SIM cards being blocked. We've invited this morning Okonu Abdullahi to share his thoughts on this. Uh, good morning, Mr. Abdullahi. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good morning to you. All right. Um, <clears throat> we, we actually um, got a glimpse of uh, the position yes. of uh, the business community uh, with uh, Shegu Sopichon. So let's get yours. Why do you think this conversation is coming now? Uh, good morning uh, once again. Uh, <clears throat> let me start by saying, by correcting you, the name is Okonu, not Okonu. 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 And I'm the General Secretary of uh, Private Telecommunications and Communications Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Texan. So I think uh, uh, on the question you just asked, uh, I want to believe that uh, because of the security challenges we are facing presently in the country, that is why the government is in a panic mode, so to say, in order to, I mean, that's why they, they raise this issue that everybody should uh, link up its NRN, that is national identity number, with uh, its uh, respective uh, SIMs. And uh, I think uh, for us, I want to believe that uh, this is not uh, realizable, it's not achievable, though uh, it, it is, it's, it's an initiative that should be commended. It is commendable, actually. But uh, the fact still remains that uh, that two weeks timeline is not achievable. <clears throat> um, let, let's talk, first of all, about the... Uh, of course, now they are talking about linking, you know, your uh, NIN you know, with your SIM card. For those who have not been able to get their national identification numbers um, over, you know, months and months now, you, you, of course, must see a short queue every now and then with NIMC officials, with people trying to get registered. Um, what would you say has led to the failure of millions and millions of Nigerians uh, from being able to get their NIN um, over time? Who's, who's, who would you blame for that? Okay, thank you so much for this uh, question. Uh, that is the grouse we, as a union, we are having with the, with the federal government. Because in this circumstance, the first thing we ought, they ought to have done is to enable, to create an enabling environment such that the registration will be so easy and it will be stress-free for Nigerians. You see that a lot of people, a lot of Nigerians, in order to get their NIN, in order to get themselves registered, they leave their homes as early as 4 a.m., get to the centers where the registration is being done, and then you see a lot of them, even despite going to those centers as early as 4 a.m., like I mentioned earlier, for weeks, they are still unable to get it registered. Why? Because... The process being adopted by the NIMSI is very, very, very cumbersome and is very, very tedious, such that you see a lot of people, maybe in their hundreds at a particular center, and very few number of individuals attending to them. And the, the sad part of it, again, is that it's like they, they are giving a certain number of people to be registered in a day. Because you see a street by, you go to an agent and they, they tell you that, yes, they have reached the threshold for the day. Therefore, they are not going to register anybody again. You are asked, you'll be asked to come back the following day. So the bottom line still remains that 
the inability of majority of Nigerians to get registered re rests solely on the NIMSI and the... So, so it's, it's not, the, it's not very different from... The government itself. It's not very different from, you know, a lot of other agencies and, the, the, you know, the process, you know, with getting through with some Nigerian um, governments, uh, MDAs rather, if you remember also, when it's time to get registered for voting and uh, um, get your voter's card, it's also, you know, about the same strenuous, uh, tough process. Um, and so is this, you know, once again, you know, another example of the Nigerian government almost punishing citizens for its failure um, um, to get things done smoothly? It is a very unfortunate uh, situation that uh, we are always uh, faced with uh, serious uh, harassment from every quarters. We are battled with uh, insecurity as uh, Nigerians in this country. While the bandits are uh, relaying people, harassing people, hoodlums here and there, we hear about uh, terrorism in the north and the likes. And you get to see it is very unfortunate that even Nigeria government, the government, the federal government is also harassing its citizens. Because ordinarily, when you look at it critically, the process, if they had made the process of uh, registration, very stress-free. How long will it, even within two months, they should be able to register the whole of the country. During the time of uh, General Basojo, in around uh, 1999, during his time, when he, was, when he embarked on this process, what he did was to make sure that people that are registering are at various world levels. This made it very easy. And that also brings us to another question, which is very, very pertinent. What happens to the registration under President Obasanjo Jordan? Why are we jettisoning that and we are reintroducing another registration? Even if we are going to re reintroduce another registration, it is expected that you should bring it so close to the people so that it will be easier for them to get the registration done. All right, then let me quickly, let me... Again, Okay, conclude, finish your thoughts okay. on that. Finish your thoughts on that. Okay, thank you so much. So I was about saying that, about why are you even putting the responsibility or uh, responsibility of uh, linking up of the of the NIN to the SIMS on on Nigerians themselves? You have the database for goodness' sake, as the federal government, and you as you can use the NCC to tell the operators. To supply their own, uh, the number of their, uh, the list of their subscribers, send them to you, then you link it up on your own. You don't need Nigerians to start running a task in order to link up the, uh, their NIN on their various, uh, what do you call it, SIMs. And then when you look at it, I just, I did my own yesterday. I'm on a particular network. All right. Let me when let me I quickly this, let me quickly ask you. Let, let me quickly ask you. Sorry uh, to interrupt, so we can capture uh, some other issues. Uh, the House of Representatives is asking, as against the two weeks um, extension, um, they should move it to t give it ten weeks. That's February um, next year. Do you see that the, the government, the NCC, would listen to this urging uh, by the House of Representatives, or do you foresee? that panic um, registration might cause us some challenges. It is quite unfortunate that uh, people set timelines that are unrealizable, like I mentioned earlier. Even if they are giving six months to get this thing done, it is obvious that they will not be able to achieve it. Don't let us forget, for how long has it been taking the names to register, to put, as, as, as we speak today, let me even say that it is just about 43 million people, 43 million Nigerians that have been able to capture since about four years ago that they have been registering uh, on the uh, NIN. So tell me now, something you are unable to do within four years, you are not given deadline for it to be done in just two weeks. It is not possible. It is not possible. Okay. What miracle do they want to do? Like I was trying to say earlier that I did, I tried to do my home yesterday and the network was saying that, okay, what they will do 
it's just for you to give them the, the number, the NIM, that they will still send that number to NIMSI for verification. Once NIMSI verifies it, then that is when they will now be able to link the NIM that has been verified by NIMSI to my line. You see that process a, again? Sounds like a tough process. I said it is highly unnecessary what they are putting Nigerians through. Yeah. Uh, quickly, yeah. before we before we wrap up, I, I also want you, your thoughts. You know, everyone has um, said, you know, this seems like it's dead on arrival, you know, given the time that we, you know, the time frame that um, was uh, given, uh, 14 days, really not enough. Um, Consider also the fact that there is a COVID-19 pandemic. You can't expect people to start rushing to get registered and standing in queues. But also... Um, how much damage is this possibly going to do to telcos in Nigeria? If you want them to block 100 million lines that are not registered, are not linked, it's how, how much damage will that do to their businesses? And, of course, would that make any sense? It, it does not make any sense whatsoever. The damage is going to do to the telcos is going to be grievous. Because, like I mentioned earlier, even if they are given six months for them to do what they ask them to do, they will still not be able to do it. Not the tacos themselves, licking up the NIM. It is Nigerians being able to even get the NIM. Are you getting it? Yes. So for the tacos, if you are, it's just like you are deliberately wanting to punish some people yeah, for your inefficiency, like we had already mentioned earlier. How would you say that, okay, they should do this within two weeks. It's not possible. It is not achievable. What thing, the first thing should be that create a very enabling environment for Nigerians, for them to be to for Nigerians to be able to easily get the NIM. Once they do that, then you don't even need Nigerians again to for them to link up the what do you call it? It is you, NIMC, since you have the database with you, just provide it to the telcos for them to do the linking. It is as simple as that. You don't How soon do you envisage that this will happen? Industry. Because we know from the Speaker of the House of Representatives that there is um, an effort to see if they can synchronize all the IDs, uh, driver's license, uh, voter card, uh, bank AT, uh, ATM, and all of that. How soon do you uh, see that this will happen if we had to make progression with this uh, data capturing? Like I've been saying, if you are to go by the, the steps or the methods they have been adopting, in six months' time, in a year's time, it's no, not No, I'm not, I'm not talking about the, only the registration of uh, national identity number. I'm talking about having a pool. Um, the House of Representatives speaker did say that they are looking to synchronize all of these cards so we can have one. That's the question I'm asking you. Is this a possibility, and how soon? Do you envisage that it can happen? It is a possibility. As a matter of fact, it is even the way to go. It is the way to go. But like I was saying, that the agencies of government that are saddled with the responsibility of getting things like this done, the method they have adopted is highly inefficient. Hmm? It is highly inefficient. So what they are, why I said uh, it is possible that uh, they get it done, they need to change their, what do you call it, their uh, modus of operandi, modus operandi. The, the, let the process be very, very stress-free for Nigerians. If they do that, it will be easier for them to get this registration. All these things they are, uh, what they want to do, it will be easier for them to do it. But I tell you, if they are still insisting on the, the old way of getting things done, the way they have been doing it, I tell you, in the next four years, we'll still be talking, we'll be still be on the same spot. We will not be able to achieve anything. So what I'm saying, in essence, is that for, them to, for us to achieve this, we need to change the way we have been doing things. Bring, it, bring the registration closer to the people. Let it be on a word basis, just similar to what uh, INEC always does. Are you getting it? So with this, if they are able to do this, I tell you, Within six months or maximum in a year, you should be able to have a database 
Okay, uh, let's let's now move to talking about the benefits you know that the government can get out of all of this, um, so we don't um, spend you know shoot it down entirely. I'm sure that there are some positives to this, maybe security uh, reasons. Uh, maybe the Nigerian government also is trying to ensure that every single phone line in Nigeria uh, can be traced. And, of course, the owners of these uh, lines, uh, you know, um, the government knows who they are. So let's focus. Let's talk a little bit about why this is a great idea. The timing might have issues, but tell us, you know, from your um, analysis why this is a really, really great idea. Okay, thank you so much uh, for the question. It is obviously, like I said, uh, during, during the course of uh, while I started talking, I made mention that it is a commendable idea. Basically, one, because of uh, security challenges we have presently. If you are able to link up the, the SIM with NRN, people, these criminal elements can easily be traced. Then apart from that, again, is such that when you look at it also from the angle of uh, revenue for the for the country, there are a lot of people that are not presently paying taxes. If you are able to have a, a database, the, it will definitely show up the, the revenue for the country. So that's another advantage uh, we have for this. Then apart from that also, the, the time we use, we expend in repeating, asking people to go out every now and then will be cut short and it will be used for meaningful endeavors. Because look at it now, they are giving timelines. That means for people to meet up with the timelines, they have to abandon whatever they are doing. If you are in a, if you are in a paid employment, how do you take excuse to leave what you are doing? I mean, to leave your work, to go and get registered. You understand? So all these things we definitely is, is a plus if you are able to achieve this uh, in uh, record time, yeah. All right, now, let, what would you uh, suggest to Nigerians that are panicking already uh, now? Um, what would you say to them to calm their nerves and, uh, you know, reiterate the importance of getting the national identity card? Yeah, like I started by saying that uh, it is a commendable act. So I will implore Nigerians to try as much as possible to do it and then not to panic. And uh, the more, more of I, my talk should be directed, or my advice should be directed to, to the agencies involved, the federal government itself. They don't need to put Nigerians on a necessary panic mode. They in themselves, they should look inward, first and foremost, and look at why is it extremely difficult for Nigerians to be able to get their NIN despite series of efforts in order to get it done. For over four years, they have not been able to do it. They should look inward and change their methods. The approach towards getting people registered, they should change it. So once they are able to change this, then things will be very easy for every, every Nigerian. All so right. the Nigerians, I will say, don't need to panic. It is, it is a task that is, it is a dead arrival, uh, dead on arrival uh, task as it is two weeks Unrealizable, unrealizable. Is, is, this, is this also so a great time, uh, Mr. Uh, Okonu, is this also a great time for the Nigerian government to realize its lapses with uh, some of these government agencies? Um, you know, I earlier mentioned voter registration also comes with its own headaches. You know, even before you can get your, your voter's um, a card, sometimes it uh, takes weeks, months. You know, some people maybe never even get theirs. If you remember during the elections, um, INEX starts to talk about, you know, thousands of voter's cards that are still in the offices that haven't been uh, col um, collected by Nigerians. Um, so is this another great opportunity for the Nigerian government to see the lapses that it has with some of these government agencies and ensure that they sit up. Very, very, you are very, very correct. It is an opportunity, but unfortunately for us in this part of the world, we don't grab our opportunities as they come. Opportunities keep coming up every now and then for us to learn and see how we change the ways we operate. But let's just hope. We can only hope. It is a good opportunity that has been, that has availed the government now to look inward and see that, okay, what are, why have we not got it right all this while? What are we doing that we are not doing right? Then you look at a way of uh, 
changing it and adopting a better approach towards uh, getting things right. It is a golden opportunity, which I want to implore the federal government to grab with both hands. And uh, rather than uh, creating panic and uh, putting unnecessary, unnecessary pressure on Nigerians, they should rather look inward and see how they will ease the task of uh, getting registration done for All the right, uh, Mr. Abdullahi, uh, General Secretary, Private Telecommunication and Communication Senior Staff Association of Nigeria. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much for having me. It's, it's a pleasure. pleasure. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.